Ladies and gentlemen, this is Online Marketing Moves. This is episode 168. Today is January the 5th, 2021 at the time of this recording. If you are listening to this in February 17th, 2022, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to discuss transparency and authenticity. And we are also going to discuss religion and politics. Now, people say they want transparency. There's a lot of social media people with trans. They claim they they claim transparency. They claim authenticity, but a lot of people are phony. A lot of people are fake. There's a lot of fakeness. Social media is a lot of fakeness, in my opinion. And we are going to give. I'm going to give my opinion today. There's a lot of phoniness in social media. There's a lot of people claiming. There's a lot of people claiming good vibes only, good good energy only, yada yada yada, blah 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 blah. But if you ever go to social media, if you ever look at social media, you know, and try this out, try this, try this yourself. If you ever. All these people claim positive energy, good vibes only, this, that, and the other, you know. But if you comment positive, positive things on the page, they they won't respond. But if you say, "Hey, f you, pal," then they will respond because people love negativity. People, people, people say they want transparency, but they don't. They really don't want transparency. People, people love negativity. People love to be negative. People love to come from a negative place, you know. People don't want transparency. People don't want authenticity. They say they do, but they want they want the authenticity. They want the transparency how they want it. If it works for them, then they want it. If it doesn't work for them, then they don't want it, you know. It's like if you talk about religion in your content, if you say I am a I am a conservative Christian, then you know, in your content, then some people are going to be like, oh, oh, I'm disgusted, you know, but you are being transparent, but they don't want that transparency, you know, but if you tell them, you know, I am a, you know, I am a Democrat, you know, I am a Democrat, I am a, you know, whatever religion, throw in the religion, if, if somebody's a Catholic and a Democrat, and you're writing an article and you put, I am a Democrat and I'm a Catholic, and they'll be like, ooh, and they'll keep reading the article, you know. But if they're not, then some people might be like, ugh, no. So the world wants transparency, but the world doesn't want transparency, you know. People want authenticity, but at the same time, they claim they they claim they're authentic. Often, I'm not, I'm, I'm done with trying to say that word. They say they want that, but they really don't. I remember I read this article about this girl named Rachel Hollis. She, apparently, she started writing books and all this kind of stuff. And she was talking about uh, being a wife and how you should be a wife and this, that, and the other. The whole time she's writing these books, she's doing these articles. You know, her and her husband, they're going through all these relationship problems. And eventually, she wrote this long, this long-winded, I guess, Instagram post about getting divorced, divorcing her husband. And so this girl, I read it on Medium. She wrote this article, and she was just sort of hammering on Rachel Hollis about how fake and phony she was, you know, and I was like, eh, you know, people say they want transparency, and they, you know, the girl, she's probably claiming, I'm authentic, you know, blah, 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 but at the same time, you tell, you're telling other women how to, how to live, but you're living a whole different way, you know, and it's all, it's all, cra- it's all, it's, it's crazy, you know, it's, everybody says they want this and that, they want that, but the end of the day just do when you're writing you know i was thinking this podcast you know it's like should you talk about religion should you talk about politics you know that's up to you if if it's if it's in you if it's really if it's like within your if it's in your spirit if it's on your mind if it if it happens to come up then yeah go for it talk about it Talk about what you want to talk about. Don't let... There's no formula. There's no set way to 
run a business. There no, there's no set that you shouldn't you shouldn't go with the formula. You shouldn't go buy a formula. Yeah, there's there's models, there's things you can pattern yourself after, but at the end of the day, you have to conduct yourself the way that you are going to conduct yourself. You you know, like McDonald's is not Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is will let you know that they are religious. Chick-fil-A, the people in Chick-fil-A, that's why they're off on Sundays, you know. The people that founded Chick-fil-A, they're they are religious. And them being religious hasn't stopped them from becoming a successful business, you know. Um, my man Ray Kroc, uh, you know, I, I, I watched the founder. Uh, I don't think he was that big into religion, maybe, or he didn't discuss it. He didn't discuss it, and McDonald's still became a billion dollar franchise, and that's a lot of different things. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no one way to do things. There's no other, but at the end of the day if you can if you are comfortable with, with yourself looking at yourself in the mirror and be like i'm conducting business the way i want to conduct business then go for it you know everything is not a formula everything is not a you know you know it's just like the content i, I talk about you know the content you create you don't have to pattern yourself after anybody you don't have to copy anybody you have your own stories you have your own life background you have your own thing you know you live in you you don't live where i live you don't you know you didn't grow up you know you didn't grow up you didn't grow up with me in missouri you know you don't have to you know i i tell stories about me being in the navy me being you know truck driving you know i relate these stories to business and i relate to these stories about why i want to start a business why i wanted to start my own business why i want to get out of truck and this that and the other you you have a different story you have your own stories and you take those stories, you use those stories, and you make them into the content that you want to create for the business that you are running, you know? There's no... Everybody, you know, people are like... You know, you see sometimes... Um, you'll see people, and they're like, business in a box, you know? People, you know, the, the silliest thing is people are like... You know, the silly, one of the silliest things I've, I've heard is like, this is a business in a box. You know, even if you, you know, you become a, an affiliate marketer, you become an affiliate marketer, and you are selling somebody else's product, but you still have to be yourself to get people to come buy, come buy from you, you know. At the end of the day, you still have to be at your own individual for people to come buy from you the people to like you enough to buy from you you still have to stand out for yourself you know in any kind of business affiliate marketing you know net consulting coaching whatever you know you still have to be your own individual you know what i mean so at the end of the day this is why i tell you you know create your own content you know don't be a copy and don't be a copy and paste kind of person but so that's why it's all right if you want to discuss politics you discuss politics if you want, want to discuss religion discuss religion it's not i used to think that if you discuss religion and politics people would repel from you but i've also had to learn everybody's not going to come with you everybody's not going to like you everybody's not going to love you you know that's and if you're trying to get, if you're trying to be milk toast and you're trying to be likable, then nobody's going to like you point blank period. You won't make, a, you won't make any kind of money. So don't be, don't be on the fence. Don't be a fence straddler. Don't be a, don't be a, well, you know, I, I don't want to offend anybody. Don't be that person. If you offend somebody, they're offended. It doesn't matter. That's on them. If I offend you, that's on you. That's not on me. I say what I say, you know, I do the podcast, I do the show, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to get more into, you know, with, well, with this podcast and with me, the more broadcasting I do, the, I will be, I will be transparent. The more broadcasting I do, the more I learn that you just have to be yourself. You have to be who you are, you know, you have to, you have to pour yourself into the podcast. 
in the beginning, I was like, you know, you know, at the beginning, at the beginning, you try to be something that you that you think will work. You know, you hear somebody on the radio and you're like, OK, I'll try that, you know. But when you start getting your when you start working it out, when you start, you know, when you get when you get better at it and you start developing your own pattern, your own habit, you, you start getting on down the line. You're like, all right, this is who I am. This is what I'm going to be. And if people don't like it, then they don't like it. It don't matter, you know. So don't get offended. Don't get insulted. If you if you do talk political and you do talk religion and people get offended and people don't like you and people give you a bad rating, that's okay. Who cares, you know? At the end of the day, you have to do... You have At the end of the day... You and I have to do what's best for you and I, you know? We can't... Everybody's not going to come with you anyway. I know I repeat... I know I repeat myself. My wife told me I repeat myself, but I had to repeat myself on that one, uh, baby. But, uh, yeah, everybody's not going to come with you. Everybody's not going to like everything that you do, and that's okay. You just put it out there. That's one thing that I kind of got stuck... That's one thing I kind of got stuck with about writing. When I was writing, I was like... Are people gonna like it? And it's like, I had, I had, I, I had to, I gotta develop the attitude when it comes to writing. The same attitude I have with the podcast. Some people are gonna like it, some people are not. And you just have to put it out there. You put your stuff out there and figure out what works for you. Figure out, figure out what you're good at, and keep going, and keep striving, and keep getting better at what what you're doing. And that's it. You can't. Worry about Joe Blow. Will Joe Blow like it? Blah, 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 blah. It's like movies. You and I watch the same movie. You and I can watch the same movie. You and I are going to have two different opinions about the movie. And that's okay. The movie's not going to be universally liked, you know. Now, some movies are just straight bombs. And 90, 90, 90% of the people are like, nope, didn't like it, nope. There's always that small portion that's going to like it. But it don't matter, you know. So, you know transparency transparency it sounds good you could be transparent but at the same time get at the same time it is what it is you know you let people know what's going on with you and that's that you know people people say that's what they're looking for but authenticity transparency you know people people really people are kind of you know you see all the, you see all these. Uh, I hate to go into a rant in the rave a little bit, but you see all these positive energy, positive vibes, blah 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 blah. You see people posting it. You see the same hundred people posting the same stuff, and it's like, come on, man. It's like Jesus, give me a break, you know. It, it's nothing trans. You know what's transparent? Transparent is the phoniness I see within all of you. Okay, get out of here. But anyway, that's it for the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you don't, if you don't, oh well. Tomorrow we'll be back for another episode that you that you can like. All right. My name is Tony Rizzano. This is oh yeah, religion, politics. Like I said, whatever, man. Just talk about what's on your mind. Talk about what's. Talk about talk about what's on your mind. Talk about what's on on your heart. You know, if it moves you, talk about it. If it don't move you, don't talk about it. All right. If politics is your thing and you want to sprinkle that into your content, then do it. Religion is your thing and it's, and, it, and you want to sprinkle it into your content, then do it. Don't let no don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody hold you back. It's not a formula. You know, if you, want, if you want to be transparent. Be transparent. You know, if you're if you try a product an affiliate product and it doesn't work then you know let us know it don't work you know but you don't have to sit there and uh you know you know you don't have to you don't have to tell us you know nine o'clock this morning i had a bowel movie you know nobody cares about that but you know that's uh being a little too transparent you know, that's craziness but you know if you could be transparent you could be open you could be honest it's all right but at the same time, I'm here to tell you, people say they want that, but they don't really want that. So you be open with yourself. You be honest with yourself, you know. At the end of the day, as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I did my best. I'm trying. I'm out here. I'm running a, I'm running a successful business. It is what it is about anything else, all right? 
Cause like I told, like I tell you all the time, everybody ain't gonna like what you're doing anyway. I mean, you know, so it don't matter. Go for what you know. Aim for them. Aim, aim high. Always aim high. Always aim high. You know, do the best you can do. Reach for the stars. They're up, up there. Don't quit. Take action. Don't quit. You know, figure things out. Things will work out at the end of the day. And if you just keep going, you will make the money. You will have listeners. You will have followers. You will start running a, a successful business. It might take a month. It might take two years. It might take 10 years, but it don't matter. All I want you to do is don't quit. You know, be open, honest with yourself. Be transparent with yourself. Be authentic with yourself and everything else will work out. All right. But that's it. That's it for the podcast. I'm out of here. My name is Tony Zano. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you didn't enjoy this episode, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend anyway. All right. With that being said, I'll talk to you later. All right. Peace.